matrix and that has a meter what is a meter we will learn it now we have seen the scale right a scales have 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter so a meter scale would have 100 centimeters on it so we can measure the 2 meters of cloth with the help of this scale the teachers table over here has a table cloth covering it so we can measure the 2 meters of cloth and cut it from here right here is a net in the playground we can measure its length by using the meter scale here that is 4 meters we can also measure the length between the classroom and the principal's room and that is 3 meters next what do we have is the measurement of the seesaw the seesaw is having some length we can measure it from the middle on one side it is 2 meters and on the other side also it will be 2 meters in length so in total the length of the seesaw is 4 meters the mass is the measurement of how much matter is in an object an object as ha is having how much of matter that will be its mass so the base unit for mass in metric system is grams and it can be measured on the balance we can observe it with the vegetable sellers these days most commonly so one gram would be equal to same as the small paper clips mass so ideally see mass can be measured in many units we get kgs and so on but the base unit according to metric system for measuring mass would be grams only next is the capacity if you observe here we have the two glasses and both are having some water which do you think is going to hold more water which out of the both glasses is going to hold more that is definitely glass one so how did you identify it that identification is done by the water holding capacity the capacity of the container is the quantity of liquid that it can hold the container that can hold more liquid will have the more capacity we use meter cans or cylinders to find how much liquid a vessel can hold now large numbers in practice we know that 100 is equal to 10 tens 1000 can be written equal to 10 hundreds or 100 tens 1 lakh can be written as 100 thousands and also 1000 hundreds 1 crores can be written as 100 lakhs and also 10000 thousands which what you see over here is a bridge we can measure its height we can measure its distance and we can measure its width as well so how to measure these we can measure these by the same units that we have learnt but do you know that a scale has been used to measure centimeters reason being it has centimeters only if you want to measure the length of a pencil you can help take the help of this ruler or the scale as we call it and measure the length you can even measure the width of this pencil but the centimeter would be too big to measure the width so we can use the millimeters so 10 millimeters is making 1 centimeters now this is a building over here and we want to measure its height its height if measured in centimeters would be too big so centimeters are too small to be measuring this building therefore we use the meters here 1 meter would be equal to 100 centimeters or it would be equal to 1000 millimeters what we see now is the distance between the two cities of a country India that is Delhi to Mumbai or Mumbai to Delhi if you measure the connection that is by road that would be too much if you want to measure it in meters so for these measurements we use the unit kilometers and what would be kilometers we will just discuss it so therefore for measuring the distances between the two places you can use the unit for measuring that is kilometers so one kilometer is definitely greater 1000 times right and millimeter is 1000 times smaller so one kilometer is equal to 1000 meters or that would be 10 lakh millimeters as we have learned to read the big numbers now 
right. So, the large distances can be measured with the help of kilometers depending the value to be measured is small or big we use the measuring scale. So, what are the words to be remembered when you are doing the measurements that is kilos, milli and centi. What are the meaning of these three words? Kilo is the greatest out of the three and milli is the smallest. Kilo will be showing 1000 times greater value and milli shows 1000 times smaller value. For the example purpose if I show 1 kilogram would be equal to 1000 grams whereas 1 gram can be written equal to 1000 milligrams. So, you see the difference between kilos, milli and centi.